Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maxwell DeMille talking, broadcasting live from the world-famous Cicada Club here in Los Angeles, California, America's greatest summer playground. I'd like to remind you before we begin our next set, outside in the lobby, C.K. Farnsworth has his delightful ice cream sandwiches for you, as well as the paper moon where you can take your pictures in the moon. It's all outside the lobby. Pay a visit. And now, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, Dean Mora and his orchestra, featuring Kerr Morrison and Damon Kirsch. Miller's St. Louis Blues March featuring Paul Lines on the drums. Thank you very much. Welcome to our second set of dance music. We're going to continue now. I know Mr. Holiday was talking about urging you to give to the USO, but there was also a similar plea going on during the war. And Damon Kirsch is going to tell you all about it. Uh, oh, here we are, yes. Here we are, Damon Cares. And 
Microphone, joined by Karen Morrison and singing a song. We're going to dedicate this to the memory of one of our band friends, and I'm talking about the late great Rock Hillman, the guitarist for the Jimmy Dorsey Orchestra and the Kay Kaiser Orchestra. He was uh, he was also on hand with the Dorsey Brothers back in 1935 when Tommy walked off the stage and broke up the band. He just passed away this past May 31st at the age of 100. He served in the Navy, had a band, and then afterwards worked for NBC Television. He was also a composer and composed such great songs as Kumana and I Bought a Wooden Whistle and some other tunes that were featured by the Dorsey and Kaiser organizations. And now we're going to present to you one of his most famous songs that was recorded by Jimmy Dorsey from 1942, this tune is called My Devotion. Sweet 
beginning to this dream I planned. I'm content to be your slave. Your wish is my command. And this sensation is not just a mere fascination. Here in my day it started, then with time it grew, my devotion to you. Damon Kirsch and Care Morrison singing My Devotion, dedicated to the memory of Rock Hillman. Now this next selection, sung by Care, goes out to all those working women who stayed at home and worked on those planes and trains and... Trains? Yes, trains and ships. And jeeps. And jeeps. And ships. And and we actually have a Rosie here with us tonight. And there are a few Rosies here. And Where is she? Is there an actual Rosie here? Pamela? Yes. Come on. Come on, you got to do the arm. Oh, here we go. There. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, she got to do it up here I, so we can I'm see not, it on the camera. No, okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with her. Come here, Rosie. There's a Rosie for you. She can do it. She can kick my, you know. Right. Yes, but so could I. Yes. <laughs> we'll cut that out in post, right? No? Okay, fine. It's live. All right, here we go with Rosie the Riveter. You got to help out. You got to do the... Yeah, viral. please help me out. Please. All the day long, whether rain or shine, she's a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie, the riveter, keeps a sharp look out for sabotage. Sitting up there on the fuselage, that's on the two of our red, white, and blue of our Rosie. The riveter, Rosie's got a boyfriend, Charlie. Charlie, he's a marine. Rosie is protecting Charlie. Red, white, and blue about Rosie. 
the Riveter. event, but the Fort MacArthur Military Museum will be holding their old Fort MacArthur days. For those of you who like to uh, get more involved with reenacting and seeing a whole bunch of great military exhibits, go next weekend, uh, January, what is that? 9th? July. Yeah, not January. That's way too late. That's too cold. July 9th. 9th and 10th. Thank you. More information, go to fortmac.org. F-T-M-A-C, so old four Mac days, are some flyers out in the lobby. The song was written by two Americans in 1940 after hearing of the uh, horrific details of the Battle of Britain between Great Britain and Germany and how they were, now are they battling fiercely in the coastal town of Dover. Uh, especially around the cliffs. So they wrote this song. Beautiful number. It goes out to our British and English friends. There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. Blue birds over the 
lost you wait and see. Damon Kier singing for you. How about another song by Damon? Sure. What is it? Oh, no. I, I know what it is. I know what it is. This, too, was recorded by Frank Sinatra back in 1943. And a great topical tune. You'll love it. It's called There'll Be a Hot Time in the Old Town of Berlin. time in the town of Berlin when the Yanks go marching in. I want to be their boy and spread some joy when they take old Berlin. There'll be a hot time in the town of Berlin when the Brooklyn boys begin to take the joint apart and tear it down when they take old Berlin. They're gonna start around and show them how They paint the town back in Kokomo They're gonna take a hike through Hitler's Reich And change their hile to what you know, Joe It's gonna be a hot time in the town of Berlin When the Yanks go marching in You can never keep them happy down on the farm After they take Berlin Gonna grab a frow and show her how we paint the town back in Michigan. I'm gonna take a hike through Hitler's Reich and change that pile to give me some skin. It'll be a hot time in the town of Berlin when the Yanks go marching in. You know that you could never be happy down on the farm after they take. Damon Kears. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was, that was a pretty hot number. Now from 1943, Shades of What's to Come at Columbia Studios a few years later. Oh, I'll go over, I'll go over here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it brings me great joy to introduce once again to the microphone and I hope she remembers she has another song coming up. The lovely Jennifer Shelton will sing for you. And this is, <laughs> there you are. And this is a song that comes from a musical theater uh, presentation, a musical comedy called One Touch of Venus by Kurt Vile and Ogden Nash in their only, oh hi, Jennifer. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Shelton. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. uh, I'm setting up the song here. And so, uh, it opened in um, New York in October of 1943, ran for 560 some odd performances. 67. 567 performances. Well, I, I gotta, but who's counting? And it made a star out of? Mary Martin. Mary Martin. The, the role of Venus was originally uh, given to Marlena Dietrich, but she turned it down because she thought it was way too, way too profane. This coming from Marlena Dietrich, go figure. And anyway, they gave it to Mary Martin and a career was born. She went out there, a chorus girl, she came back. I heard that line somewhere. Anyway, so here's one of the beautiful numbers from that, from the pen of Ogden Nash and Kurt Vile, that's him. All that title sounds more like something you would say at a lineup. That's him. All right, I'm going to start the song now.
Shelton. Thank you so very much. Uh oh. I was so involved with Jennifer, I forgot to put up that third microphone. Sorry about that, kids. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Lindy Sisters. Now, now that one's not plugged in. Oh, Maxwell. Oh, Colonel, I'm sorry, Colonel Maxwell. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the finest in Army technology, brought to you by Colonel DeMille. All right. As you can see, they are now in their summer outfits. <laughs> sure, why not? Here's another Andrew Sisters. Uh, Favorite this shoe shoe baby.
so that he can be sweet to you another day. Bye, 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 baby. Don't cry, baby. Shoo, 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 baby. Say, folks, how about those Lindy sisters? I'd like to hear one more. Three people would. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, as you know, during the last set, one of our guests tonight was very generous and donated $1,000 to the USO, Mr. Michael Chapman. And ladies and gentlemen, I think he's enjoying the show so much He's generously donated an additional $1,000 to the USO. We thank you very much for $2,000 donated to the USO. So here's your $2,000 song, Liddy Sisters. What's it going to be? This is the most requested song we do. Hands it's, down, can It's you called guess? I Love Maxwell in the Springtime. That's it! Thank you, the you Liddy Sisters. It. And the company 
Symphony for traveling. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank the Lindy Sisters. Lorelai, Lindy Lou, and Laney. Lane, 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 Lane. Lane. Thank you very much. While we're in a uh, bugling mode, let's go ahead with another great tune. This is a bugle call rag. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Featured soloists on saxophone, Albert Alba. On trombone, Dave Ryan. And on drums, Paul Lines. We'll go, no, forget it. We'll go here. Now we'll slow it down a bit right now with another tune by Hal, Mal Hal McIntyre. From 1942, this is his version of Will Meet Again. Once again, dedicated to the wonderful Dame Vera Lynn.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And uh, our English pianist, Richard Gere, has corrected my pronunciation of Dame Vera Lynn. So stop writing. Thank you. Especially you people up there in TV land. And now, ladies and gentlemen, even though we say we'll meet again, but where will we meet again? Why, the answer lies in the next selection, sung by Jim Ziegler, recorded by, originally recorded by Bing Crosby, Christmas time of 1943. So we're out, but in some magical place where you can get together and have all your hopes and dreams realized. And of course, I'm talking about the San Fernando Valley. Pack my bread, and I'm leaving today. I'm taking a trip, California way. I'm gonna settle down, never more roam. And make the San Fernando Valley my home. I'll give my sins, yes, yes, make a new friend. Where the west begins and the sun set ends Cause I decided where it was truly ought to be And it's the San Fernando Valley for me I feel that I'm seven states She'll be waiting when my lonely journey is done Kindly old Reverend Thomas made us a promise Gonna make the two of us one So I'm hitting the trail to the cow country And for my mate, Galvory Flea Gonna settle down and never more roam Make the San Fernando Valley my home. Yeah. 
with a thrill, the cow gone free, and for I made you for a I'm gonna settle down, never more room. Make the San Fernando Valley my home. Make the San Fernando Valley my home. Jim Ziegler, ladies and gentlemen. Bing would be proud. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to, uh, of course, let you know some upcoming events. We have Johnny Holiday's program coming up at the end of this month. So hopefully you'll see you there. Also, we have a special uh, uh, guest in the audience. She's performed here numerous times and also holds court at the Queen Mary on Friday and Saturday nights at the Observation Bar. And of course, I'm talking about none other than the beautiful, gorgeous, talented, and uh, a good, good all-around kid, Jennifer Keith. She's around here somewhere. Don't mind me. No, of course not. Never do. And say Jennifer Keep will be here in two weeks with her oh, high that's society me, boys. Huh? Ah, her high not her society boys, but her high society boys. Each and every boy. Say no more. Say no more. Each and every boy is from society. Look, here's Jennifer Keep right there. <laughs> Why don't you step up? Why it's the reefer already. girl herself? You've gone this far. You might as well go all the way up the steps. Oh, up the steps. You know me, always climbing the ladder. Well, I'll see you uh, two weeks from tonight, that's right. With your high society boys. That's right, each and, one, each and every one of them are... From society. <laughs> yes, or the latter. And say folks, we'd like to let you know right now, Jan Daly's wonderful recordings are available outside at the box office. So pick one up and take Jan Daly home with you tonight. See you in two weeks. See you, Jennifer. Jennifer Keith. And I'd like to make one more mention, ladies and gentlemen, of Mr. Jim Ziegler, who did that delightful vocal on the last number. We call him the Mighty Mouth of magical musical mayhem and mystery. And of course, Jim Ziegler, last Wednesday, wowed the crowd at the Orpheum Theater in front of 2,000 people when he sang It's Over Because We're Through by Leonard Reed and Willie Bryant. Thank you, Mr. Ziegler. You were the hit of the show. I think you stole the show. And now, speaking of someone that steals things, including shows, Mr. Dean Mora. Thank you, I couldn't have had a better introduction. Thanks a lot. Well, I meant you steal the hearts of all the young ladies watching you tonight. Oh, stop it. Say, gals, what do you say? He's available. Don't bait them, please, please. Cash, check, or money order accepted. Scram, beat it, scram. I the nerve. Stay, 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 stay. Back. All right. All right, enough of this silliness. Let's slow it down here. One of the most beautiful numbers of this era. And recorded by Glenn Miller. And uh, this goes out to mom.
Before we do our last number, we'd like to thank the folks here at Cicada Club, all the management here to do that uh, helped us out in putting this on together. And also, I'd like to thank these fellows behind me who have uh, who've allowed me to beat them up for three hours. And they will send me their doctor's bills later on. Of course, a brief introduction to the members of the orchestra. On the trumpet line, Jim Ziegler, Kai Palmer, and Corey Jim. On the trombone line, Toby Holmes, Dave Ryan, and Steve Ferguson. On the sax line, we have Jim Jettikin, Martin Matthews, Albert Alba, Matt Germain, and Ethan Helm. Back to this kid, what are, what are you, a senior now? Uh, he's gonna be a senior at uh, Eastman College. So uh, he's basically playing with all his dads here. He's, uh, oh, he got old, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. <laughs> On the rhythm section, we have on piano, Mr. Richard Gere on piano. The English with two E's, two E's, not one E. I have to say that all the time. On the guitar, Mr. John Reynolds on guitar. On the bass, Jim Garofalo. On the drum, Paul Lines. And our two wonderful vocalists, Kara Morrison and Damon Kirk. And of course, I'd also like to thank our special guests, Jennifer Shelton, the Lindy Sisters, and Jan Daly. And thank you very much again to Mr. George Decay. And also, please, once again, we urge you to please support the USO and all, everything they do for our fighting men and women all around the world. So here we go with a dedication to everybody out there. Here we go.
Paul Wines on drums. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Mora and his orchestra. Thank you, and is it most fitting on this weekend that we finish uh, our program with this number. And so we ask Jennifer Sheldon to come on up. It's been a night at the Cicada Club with our tribute to the Armed Forces Past and Present featuring Dean Mora and his orchestra with Karen Morrison and David Kitsch. Also a special thank you to our guest stars, Jennifer Shelton, Jan Daly, the Lindy Sisters, George Takei, and Mr. Johnny Holiday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you had a splendid evening here tonight, and we wish you a happy Independence Day. So for now, this is Maxwell DeMille wishing you all the best of good luck and good evening. <laughs>